That's why I'm easy. Ah, I'm easy like a Sunday morning. Ah, ah, ah. Hello. Yes, you guessed it. This is this week's what? This week's word of the week. It's a special edition though. I really don't have time to edit this, so let's do it all in one take with no editing whatsoever, shall we? Let's just see what I'm like without the outtakes. So, <clears throat> I really haven't had time to record this week, so that's why I'm doing it now. Um, yes, so I'm out walking with my dog. Prefer I'm, I'm assuming you can see him. Um, right next to uh, a golf course, so hopefully they won't think I'm weird. And let's pray that I don't walk past anyone, especially anyone I know, because I wouldn't be able to cut this off because it's one take. So, let's get back down to business, shall we? Um, and while still covering the mic with my hand and holding the camera, find out what this week's interesting word of the week is, shall we? So, this week's interesting word of the week is technically not a word, it's a phrase. Because we've had enough of words, I've, I'm bored of words now. I really am. So let's go for phrases. Well, it's just this week. I couldn't find. Okay. <clears throat> Rumbling. <clears throat> okay. So this week's interesting word of the week is. Well, this week. <laughs> fail. This week's interesting phrase of the week is. Quid pro quo. I'm not sure if I've said that right. It's Latin, so I've probably said it in an English accent and butchered it. I'm not entirely sure I want to walk around that corner just in case someone's there. So I'll walk back and forth on this stretch. Shall I? My doggy will be extremely confused. <clears throat> okay, so this week's interesting phrase of the week is quid pro quo. Um, I instantly fell in love with this phrase as soon as I heard it, well, read it. I instantly fell in love with it. I've been using it ever since I first read it. So what does it mean, I hear you saying? It is Latin for one thing in return for another. Or something that is given or taken in return for something else. A substitute. So that's what quid pro quo means. And I, I learned this, like I assume the vast majority of people who know of the phrase, who haven't learned Latin or attempted to learn Latin or attempted to teach themselves Latin, blah, blah, blah. Um, I learned this from the book, Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. I believe it's Thomas Harris. And I love that book. It's the um, second Hannibal Lecter one. I'm halfway through, is it just me? Crap. Okay, I'm sorry about everything that was wrong with the past thingy. My um, lens hood was tilted wrong. Okay, ignore that, we can't start again. So, um, yeah, I read um, this book. Second, oh no, what, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? It's second in the series, Silence of the Lambs, of the Hannibal Lecter series. And I loved the book, but I read it by accident. Which, I know, you're probably thinking, well, that's a bit weird. How can you possibly finish a book without realising which book you're reading? Well, it's a series, and I read the second book first. So, I'm halfway through the first book now, and it's brilliant. Because I love to read um, crime books. Crime books are just the best. But, um... And I also, I'm completely fascinated with, like, mental illness and how the mind works. So it's like a, a blend of brilliance. And little psychopaths and, oh... I'd, I'd love to be like some kind of psychologist, but I don't like psychology at school. So, um, let's let's move on to what other... I brought the book with me. I don't know why I brought the book with me, just in case I showed you it. It's well-thumbed. I've only read it once. But even though it is one of the best books I've ever re read, I probably won't read it again. Because I'm one of those people... Oh, someone behind me. I'm one of those people who has a rather... Rather adept... We'll call it adept... I have a rather adept memory, so um, as soon as I start reading it again, I'll remember every single little bit, and it's not a surprise anymore, so I have to read loads and loads of books, and I don't understand it when people can read the same book uh, twice, or three times, let's say. <sighs> so let's find out what um, other words there are for quid pro quo in the Theosaurus. Uh, uh, someone's behind me, so I'm going to have to walk in a straight line now. Uh, da, da, loading up on my iPod. Other words for quid pro quo include equal exchange, equal substitution, equivalent, eye for an eye, 
like for like, measure for measure, something in return, substitute, tit for tat, and trade off. So, you could use any of those in their place, but if you ask me, quid pro quo is a hell of a lot of better phrase to use. Uh, and it also baffles people, it makes you think, it makes people think you're really clever as well. I think this is going well for a one take, one take video. Let me just see how much time I've got left on this memory. Three minutes remaining. I thought this would be really long because I just baffle on and on and on and on and on, but obviously, obviously not. I'm, I'm getting better at this. I'm obviously practicing for when I do vlogs or when I'm thinking about it, when I can find time. Oh, this, this video I haven't had time to record at home or set up properly. So this is literally the Sunday that I record it and upload it. It'll probably be uploaded in the next three hours, possibly because I'm efficient like that and I don't need to edit it. It's brilliant. brilliant. Okay, so um, let's find out what Urban Dictionary wants. This is a, an amazing, if you could see how I'm holding this camera right now, it's amazing. One hand, I'm covering the microphone from the wind I'm walking into. You probably can't hear me because the trees are in the wind as well, but that's completely irrelevant. There is someone behind me. <clears throat> My voice just went. Oh, ignore that. We'll cut that out. I uh, normally cut it. Oh, there. Okay, so Urban Dictionary's definition of, or one of the Urban Dictionary's definitions for quid pro quo is, is, quid pro quo, a Latin expression that means an equal exchange similar to give and take, which is 100% true. There is someone in front of me, one second. Okay, so I blatantly just lied about doing this in one take. I bottled it as soon as someone came around the corner. I crabbed myself. Okay, so let's pretend that didn't happen. That's the only editing this is going to go under that little cut there. Okay, so uh, the second, Urban Dictionary's second definition for quid pro quo is an expression which, if used in an insane cannibal, oh my lord, an expression which, if used by an insane cannibal psychiatrist you happen to be talking to, is an exchange sign that you're in a lot of trouble. I disagree with that. I read, um, I read that book and I don't remember Hannibal Lecter, Hannibal Lecter ever threatening Clarice, ever given her the possibility of... He never directly threatened her, did he? Did he? I can't remember. I might have to read it again. Ignore what I said earlier about having an amazing memory. And their example for this... Oh no, they have two examples. Uh, the first example is, I gave her 20 books, she gave me, well, quid pro quo, you know. I'm assuming that's some sexual slang or reference. I'm not going to read it out loud. Well, no, there's nothing to read out loud. I'm not going to tell you what I think it is. Ah, I've built up some space between me and the guy behind me. So I'm going to stand here for a second. In the, get in the light! Light! Ah, okay, okay. <clears throat> well, I can't see my screen. Okay, and their second example for the Hannibal Lecter reference is Lecter says, quid pro quo. Clarice, quid pro quo, Clarice. And Clarice, if she had any sense, yo, I'm getting the hell out of here. <clears throat> that definitely didn't happen in the book. Yeah, so basically, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me, let me put this back in my pocket. Pocket. So it is actually gonna be quite a long episode. So yeah, this, this was quid pro quo. I've always loved this term. I've used it many a times. People have gone, what are you talking about, man? What are you talking about, Willis? I got no, my name isn't Willis. They've gone, what the hell are you talking about? Damn, I never heard no quip go pro. You tell me what that means and then I'll do what you say, Sue. That's how all my friends talk. I don't really have any friends. <clears throat> That's why I'm doing this now. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I've always loved the term quid pro quo. And I knew I was always going to use it for the cues because there aren't that many cue words that are good. Maybe quarrelsome. Mm, I can't think of any. And I looked through the dictionary and couldn't find any, even though I, my mind was set on quid pro quo, so that's fine, really. My dog is running around. Um, I think that's about all. Did you like this week's one take, one take video? I wanted to do like daily vlogs for a while now. I'm going to wait till after the exams till I actually have the time. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do a Toby Turner-esque three minute high energy octane blah, or do something more like collect clips over a period of time, which I might do because not that much interesting happens. So if I do that, it might be like twice, um, 
uh, every two days or something like that. That's what I'm thinking, and I wouldn't use this camera because it's bloody heavy. I'm going to right work out. I haven't had this much exercise since since um, I swam. Uh, my arms, are my arms even that strong? So, <clears throat> I'm going to have to go now. No time to edit it together and in... Uh, there's no time to edit together an outro, so I will leave all of the links you would like to leave. Eh? Two birds flew across behind the camera then. They got quite close to my feet, so I got distracted. Uh, they were ever so cute. It's <laughs> birds. <laughs> yeah, it's birdies. <laughs> I'm a bird, mother! I'm a bird! I can't cut that out now. Everyone knows I now watch Toby Turner. Damn. I wanted to keep that a secret. Damn. My quiet obsession with the man. Okay, so. Show. Erm. Um, what was I saying? Yes, um, I can't cut together an outro tonight. I can't cut together an outro today. This is what I'm like before editing, you know. This is why I do so many jump cuts. Um, yeah, I can't do an outro because it will take too long to edit and then I'll have to upload it in literally like an hour or so anyway, so I won't have time. Um, but there are still the annotations in the top right hand... Uh, there are still the annotations in the top left hand corner of the screen somewhere which will allow you to see last week's video and there will be one in the top right hand corner of the screen when it comes to next week from the date in the title because that's when next week's interesting word of the week is... is... Okay, so um, I think that's everything to Have I forgotten anything? Doggy, duck, have I forgotten anything? No? No, I don't think I have. I think that's just, oh, oh birds, <laughs> it's, yeah. You so didn't see them. Okay, so, um, thank you for watching. And next week's video will definitely be in the house and more thought will go into it. And there'll be some editing, so you won't get all the rambly breathingness in between me saying things and things coming out of my mouth. So until then, I'll catch you later. You wanna say I'll catch you later, Sid? Catch you, catch you, he'll catch you later as well. He will, he, he's, he's not very talkative as he goes. So, oh, people are there. That's me definitely going now. I will catch you later.